It's great to be uh, speaking to you all this afternoon uh, from the farm office here. Uh, we seem to spend half our lives these days looking at screens, um, but it's great to uh, to be doing this week's uh, message. Um, it's been a, a mixed week. Uh, we've seen good news around garden centres. Hopefully that will, uh, will be fantastic for uh, the ornamental sector who have been really under severe pressure. Uh, since the start of uh, of this uh, current situation. Uh, getting those garden centres uh, open is a, is a real positive. But we've also seen some challenges this week. Uh, not least the, uh, the Agriculture Bill uh, yesterday, a landmark piece of legislation. Uh, we were delighted that over 2,000 members have written to their MPs. We've had lots of engagement with MPs. Uh, and we've also seen the establishment of an unprecedented alliance uh, flagging up the importance of our food standards, whether they be consumer organisations, environmental organisations, animal welfare organisations. Uh, it's been great to see that. And the joint letter that Minette signed, uh, I think, was really powerful. However, we are disappointed that the Neil Parrish Amendment uh, didn't get through. Uh, we will be continuing our efforts in the House of Lords uh, and again in the Commons when it comes back uh, next month. But let's also hold politicians to account. Politicians who've said that they value the importance of standards, they understand the importance of standards, but yet didn't vote for the amendment. I want to know going forward how they will protect those standards because they are absolutely critical to me as a farmer, to you as a farmer, but also to our consumers who value the standards we produce to. The other bit of uh, bad news this week uh, was the judgment in the uh, Derbyshire uh, TB judicial review. We believe that uh, that uh, judgment is wrong. We will be looking at the judgment. We will be talking to our lawyers uh, and speaking to uh, the farmers in, in, uh, in Derbyshire. Uh, and we'll make a decision very shortly about whether to appeal uh, that judgment. But I wanted to pick up on a couple of other areas. The first one is uh, the issue of access. It's great to see nearly 5,000 of our new access signs uh, being sent to farmers all around the country. It's vital that people accessing the countryside do so responsibly. It's good for people's mental health to get out in the countryside, but they need to act responsibly. Remember, it's our workplace, it's our homes, and anyone who needs any more of those signs, please get in touch with us. And finally, I wanted to flag up some of the other work being done uh, by our teams. In particular, I wanted to flag up the work that's being done around financial assistance, whether that be C-bills, whether that be bounce back loans, whether that be the conversations we're having uh, with the banks on a very regular basis. Please get hold of the briefings off the, uh, off the website. They can be really helpful in terms of helping you uh, with financial pressures at the moment. And finally, I just wanted to say a huge thank you. I'm very lucky I get to see firsthand the effort that our staff are going to at the moment, that are, the efforts that our commodity boards, our forums, uh, and whether that be uh, local uh, activists or whether that be national representatives and the teams that support them in Stoneley, virtually in Stoneley uh, or around the regions, I take my hat off to how uh, all our staff and our members have really stepped up in this difficult time. And please all remember to stay safe. And I look forward to catching up with people for real in hopefully the not too distant future.